What's up, YouTube? I'm here today because it is Blu-ray Tuesday. Now, I don't go out Blu-ray hunting every Tuesday, but certain t Tuesdays I do. And this Tuesday, I definitely got to go because Beauty and the Beast comes out on Blu-ray today. Now, as you can see and hear, my alarm's going off because last time I overslept and missed the Logan Steelbook. Not happening today. I'm going to get that Beauty and the Beast still book. Now, I don't know if you've seen Beauty and the Beast. If you haven't, trust me, you need to. It was an awesome movie. It was almost spot on with the Beauty and the Beast film that we got when we were kids, the animated version. It was a beautiful movie. It was well acted. The songs were great. I really had not a single complaint that I can think of about that movie so if i were y'all and you didn't see it go see it i'm not one for like musicals and things like that but it was awesome and if you like you're holding out because you're like oh i'm this macho man i don't want to watch this little love story and shit like that throw that out the window and watch this film it will remind you of the movie that we grew up with. I grew up watching Beauty and the Beast and other Disney movies like that. So this movie was amazing to me. So I'm gonna go to Best Buy, hopefully pick up this still book. Best Buy's not even open yet, so I don't see any reason as to why I won't get it unless there's a line outside, but I don't think so. Also, I just want to speak on the fact that I saw Wonder Woman last night. Now, I have a review coming soon. Pro I actually already did the review, but it'll probably be posted after this video. I'm not going to speak too much on it, but I just want to say that it's not as good as what people are making it seem. I'm not here to hate on movies. When I give you my review on a film, I'm just going to be honest with you about how I feel. I don't always go with the general consensus, but I don't always go against it. If I like something, I like something. If I don't like something, I don't like something. I don't sugarcoat shit for anybody. I don't care about the backlash that I will get. I'm going to give you what I honestly feel. Just like a lot of people are upset by the fact that I said I didn't like Logan the first time I saw it. Then the second time, I grew to actually enjoy the film. But however, Wonder Woman, I didn't think was as good as people make it seem. Actually, I had a lot to say about it, but you'll see that it's coming soon when I post a review. But anyways, that's today's not about Wonder Woman. Today's not about Logan. Today's not about anything else but Beauty and the Beast. And here goes my alarm again. So without further ado, I need to get my ass out there and go get this motherfucking still book. All right, so I'm on the way now. And I was wondering, how do you guys feel about, you know, the live action adaptations of these Disney childhood classics? Like, they seem to be doing really good with them. Like, I can honestly say, I'm, I never liked Alice in Wonderland, so I'm not a big fan of Alice in Wonderland and the sequel, like, Through the Looking Glass or whatever. I don't really want to watch them. They're kind of creepy to me, honestly. And Cinderella also has never been like a big deal for me, but The Jungle Book was absolutely amazing. And I'm really looking forward to Aladdin and like whatever they have next, The Lion King. I think those are probably going to be really, really good. But I'm glad that they're doing this. It doesn't... I don't know, sometimes a movie company could do too much of something and you know, it just gets overwhelming and they flood the market with it. But I don't feel that way about these films. I think it's good that they're bringing it to a new generation in a new way. I definitely would rather them do it in live action than try to make like cartoon remakes because you'll never get the same feel that you got back in the day but Beauty and the Beast and The Jungle Book are two amazing films that they knocked out of the park but yeah I just want to know how you guys feel about those films like let me know in the comments below 
All right, everyone, I'm pulling up to Best Buy. There's still like four or five minutes before it opens. But there's no reason why I won't be getting the steelbook today. Now, there's only like one or two people standing outside. But there's a lot of people waiting in their trucks and their cars for, I guess, for it to open. I don't know if they're waiting for Beauty and the Beast or what they're waiting for. But I'm here and I should be getting the steelbook. Thank God. So I'll check back in once it opens and once I go inside. So here we are at the new release section. We have the DVD for $17.99. The Blu-ray is $19.99. I don't see it on 4K, but they only have a few still books already. But luckily I was able to grab me one, so can't say I missed out this year. Well, not this year, but this week on the Blu-ray. There's still a lot of workers like walking around looking at me completely crazy. They don't really like filming in here. But, yeah. Got lucky. Was able to get my copy, so. You can consider me a happy man today. Has anyone seen a dog's purpose? Like, for some reason, I'm really interested in seeing it. So, if you've seen it, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below I like the slip case for, for the bugs life that's pretty cool I might pick this up I don't know I haven't seen this slip case before definitely a very good movie from my childhood mm. here's the other new release section I don't think much came out on blu-ray today other than Beauty and the Beast I need to pick up that new Tekken 7. I'm interested to see how that goes. See the 25th anniversary Blu-ray of Juice is out for, what is that, $11.99? That's not a bad price at all. I might pick that up as well. Not sure. But yeah, I'm about to get the hell out of here. I got everything I need, so. Time to go home and review the way the steelbook looks like from first glance, it's fucking awesome. Now before I left, I figured I would check the pop section and would you look at who I found, finally! Best Buy exclusive king, but the sad thing is, is I keep honest with you guys, I don't think I'm gonna pick him up today. Finally found him, I've been looking for him for months and I'm not even gonna pull the trigger. Not to mention his box is really beat up, so I guess that lightens the blow for me a little bit. But yeah, I'm about to get the hell out of here. Well guys, I am out of Best Buy and Mission was a success. I knew it would be because I got here before opening. Actually, there's a lot of people <coughs> waiting in their cars that I didn't realize. So there's probably about three still books left when I when I actually left the place. But sorry, filming in Best Buy is really awkward. Not only do they play loud music, but they have a ton of workers and every five seconds they're coming up to you asking you if they can help you with something and you're just sitting there trying to film your Blu-ray hunting video and they're looking at you crazy. Some of them even ask you not to film inside the store. So filming in Best Buy is always awkward. If you watch my videos, you could probably tell that when I go there, like I'm not joking around much and don't get much footage inside. And it's just constantly, like I said, employees coming up to me asking me if I need help and stuff like that which I guess it's not a bad thing but you know how you go to a store and there's just constantly someone there like badgering you like no I don't want any help I just want to find something on my own and browse around by myself but whenever you do need help somewhere it seems like it's hard to find so you can't have your cake and eat it too but I got the blu-ray steelbook it is beautiful i don't know what the back looks like yet i don't know what the insides look yet like yet but i'm gonna take it home and bust it open and show you guys what it looks like but just from first glance it's a beautiful steel book like if you have if you're seeing this video and you haven't gotten the steel book yet chances are you're not going to like i'm pretty sure this one's going to sell out fast probably not fast as logan though but 
yeah I wasn't gonna like drop the ball again on this one so I got it I'm gonna take it home show you what it looks like show you the details on it and then I'm gonna eat breakfast and watch the movie I'm really blowed that I'm even up this early it's not super early but I just I really wanted to sleep in today I was out watching Wonder Woman until like 12 30 or 1 o'clock last night and then I did like a 30 minute review edited that and everything so I've been up but yeah gonna get some breakfast gonna get home gonna show you what the blu-ray looks like and I hope you guys enjoy this video like I said sorry that the footage is awkward inside of Best Buy but I can't help it so yeah as you already saw I got the still book and it is a beautiful still book look at that the rose right there definitely did a great job on this still book this video won't do it justice you really need to like see it in person and here's the back you got Belle and Beast dancing right here on the back I hope you guys didn't miss out on this still book or choose like not to try to get it because you're definitely going to be disappointed that you didn't get this one. Now forgive me that my camera quality is not as good as I'd like, like it to be, but this is the inside of the still book. You see a lot of the characters from the film like Gaston and LeFou. You see the castle in the background, you see Belle right here. And here's the other side. Like I said, forgive me, there's a glare, I'm sure. But yeah, you get to see all the characters from the film right inside. I love when still books like actually still have artwork on the inside as well. Now it comes with a DVD and a Blu-ray. There's no artwork on the DVD or the Blu-ray, so I figured there's no point in showing y'all. But that's the inside. I know there's glare and things, but you just need to pick this still book up and see for yourself. It's an amazing still book, an amazing movie, and like I said, I told y'all earlier I'm about to eat breakfast and watch it again. This is definitely a film that I can view twice, three, four times, just like the original cartoon version. Now, if y'all like this movie or y'all didn't like this movie, let me know in the comments below. Let's talk movies. I love talking movies. I'm a big movie buff. A cinephile, if that's what you would like to call me. A connoisseur of films. <laughs> but yeah, I love movies. I love this movie. Let me know what you thought of the movie in the comments below. And let's talk about it. I hope you enjoyed this quick little Blu-ray hunting video. I'll probably be back out there um, whenever Lego Batman comes out on Steelbook. I don't go Blu-ray hunting every week. Only on weeks that there's a movie out that interests me. And I'm a big Steelbook collector. So give this video a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram at FunkyoPop underscore 912, and as always, you have a good day YouTube. Till it's all this time, Beauty and the Beast.